Hi, I'm Teddy Burris, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, trainer, and coach. And I got to ask this question. Teddy, what's the easiest way to stop a Google form from accepting new responses? And I know how to do that, and I'll show you how to do it. But before I do, hit that subscribe button because I have a whole lot more content coming out on using Google Workspace and Gmail, and I create it just for you. We go over here to my, uh, my, uh, my Google account, and you can see I've got a form I created. Here it is here in my drive. You'll see right here, it's, uh, the form is called Favorite Beer. So I click on that, it opens up this. And I'm in edit mode, so I can add more sentence, more questions and customize this in lots of different ways, which I'll do in another, another video soon. But you can see I've gotten four responses. So we go, here's the four responses. I can actually see the spreadsheet. You can see here are the four responses I've gotten. It tells me the date and the time, and there's only one question, so I only have one answer. But here's what's really neat. First of all, if I got a bunch of responses that I no longer want and I forgot to stop getting, uh, stop accepting responses, then I could just you know, select the rows that I want to get rid of and hit the delete key and get rid of them. However, if I want to stop getting responses, then I just simply click on responses here accepting responses, turn it off. And I can change the text here, message for response and say, thanks, we have all the data we want at this time or whatever words we want, you know, the winner will be chosen soon. And by doing that, when I when someone clicks on that form, if they've got the link out there, it's on a web page, it's in an email message, and it's too late, when they click on the form, they're going to get this. Thanks, we have all the data we want, the winner will be chosen soon. So it's really pretty easy to do. Again, go to responses and turn it off. Additionally, you can, from the spreadsheet, if you got more that came in too late, you can just select those and delete them from the spreadsheet. I'm Teddy Burris, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, trainer, and coach, and I hope all this is helpful for you.